We have major concern around China on global markets and a lot of jitters ahead of what's going to happen in Brussels tonight. That's where the Greek Prime Minister Alexis Tsipras is presenting a new proposal. Will the other Eurozone leaders buy into that? We'll have to wait and see, but we said we'd take you to Athens, and that's where SABC correspondent Jack Parrock is. Uh, Jack, good evening to you. Is your ordinary Athenian uh, citizen well aware that tonight's meeting in Brussels could be a, a fork in the road for Greece? Sorry, I couldn't hear your question very well, but I'll tell you what's going on here in Athens. Uh, and that is that uh, the Greek people are awake to see what their Prime Minister Alexis Tsipras can do. They've given him the mandate, they voted 61% to back him in this uh, ongoing charge to try to renegotiate Greece's debt with its international creditors. So he's gone to Brussels knowing that he has the support of the Greek people. But they're still only able to access 60 euro per day from their bank accounts. Uh, and so there is concern here that potentially uh, the, the strife and the struggle that they're going through will continue. Uh, Jack, I hope you can hear me this time. Is there a sense of, of this meeting uh, being a do or die? Um, Alexis Tsipras will either gain agreement. If he doesn't, if he's rejected tonight, then that Grexit um, looks more likely. Certainly there is... A, could be a sense of do or die. The people that are, don't trust him certainly think that way. They're very concerned. But he has, the, as I said, he has the support of the Greek people. Now, it all really rests on whether the European and international creditors uh, are willing to negotiate with him. The first uh, news we're getting out of the Eurogroup of finance ministers in Brussels is that the Greek government didn't come up with any new proposals. But they've only had a new finance minister for around 24 hours and potentially the Prime Minister Alexis Tsipras, he could be wanting to put these forward these proposals himself. They're probably going into the meetings just around now in Brussels and it looks like a showdown between him and the German Chancellor Angela Merkel. Now, the French have come out. They said they're on his side. They want to keep Greece in the Eurozone. They want to continue uh, negotiations and that they want to restart. The Spanish even and the Italians, they look like they're supporting Greece. So it really comes down to, to, to what the, the other leaders in the Eurozone are saying to Alexis Tsipras when he goes into that room. Jack, uh, you spoke about the withdrawals that continue. Uh, you're allowed to take 60 euros a day. But are the banks handling? It looks like a beautiful uh, day in Athens, but there was this fear um, uh, that even before this is all uh, wrapped up, the banks could run out of cash. What's, what's the situation like on the ground? Well, yes, there is a lot of worry. I have to say that the, the Greek people seem to be relatively calm about this. After the referendum, they gave, they gave them the mandate and now they just have to leave it to the government. And there does seem to be some kind of uh, realistic feeling about that. They know what has to happen and what the risks are. Um, in fact, I went and spoke to some people in a pharmacy today. This is another reality of Greek life, that the pharmaceutical companies, they are, say that they haven't been paid so that they are asking pharmacies to uh, pay up front. And clearly those pharmacies are restricted in their accounts because of the capital controls so that their stocks are running out and people are getting very nervous about that, that they're not going to be able to access uh, uh, some medicine that they desperately need. Um, but I spoke to the pharmacists and they said, hey, this is the natural point in this. This is what happens when your country tries to renegotiate its debt and when, when things are difficult. And he said he had faith in Alexis Tsipras. He, in fact, said that he, he um, didn't vote in the referendum. So that's an interesting aspect in itself. But it, it, it remains to be seen whether the Greek people are really going to have major concerns. The longer this goes on, the longer the negotiations go on, the harder it is going to uh, be for those Greeks. But we'll wait and see. I think the, the negotiations in Brussels look like they're going to last a couple of days and the people here in Athens are clearly going to be watching very closely as the negotiations continue. All right. Uh, we're losing Jack Parrock from Athens with an interesting view uh, from the ground there. And hopefully that understanding um, about what's happening in Brussels uh, continues on the ground in Greece. Now, the mood on global markets has turned from calm to tense as investors await fresh news on Greece and fret about 
China. All European markets were lower today. At home, the rand weakened uh, further against the dollar. The JSC ended well in the red this Tuesday. The All Share Index down by more than 2.5%. The big miners were down by nearly 4%, possibly on those concerns about China. The price of platinum also tumbling by more than 2%. Here's a quick look at your main financial indicators. After the break, the BRICS developed.